United Nations names March 15th as the, quote, international day to combat Islamophobia. On March 15th, the United Nations General Assembly adopted a resolution establishing March 15th as the International Day to Combat Islamophobia. The resolution was introduced by Pakistan's representative, marking the anniversary of the Christchurch mosque shootings in New Zealand in 2019. The resolution was sponsored by 55 predominantly Muslim member states and passed consensus with all 193 states in support. Nicolas de uh, Riviere, uh, France's representative to the United Nations, acknowledged that, quote, Islamophobia has no agreed upon definition in international law. This resolution that named March 15th as a commemorative day to fight against Islamophobia failed to explore the nature and scope of the concept. Numerous outspoken Muslims, ex-Muslims, take issue with the word Islamophobia, as many find that the word is used to silence their criticism of their former faith. Mohammed Syed, executive director of the ex-Muslims of North America, has been quoted as saying that the word Islamophobia has been, quote, weaponized to conflate criticism of Islam as a belief system with discrimination against Muslims as people. Why, why, why could they just not have a day to combat anti-Muslim bigotry? I thought we've moved past this. I thought I was so hopeful that a lot of people now understand the problem with this word. How are they combating a word that they don't have a definition for? Like I thought the United Nations, like what is the whole point of all that legal paperwork that they do if they don't, even go as far as having a specific definition for what they're about to combat. Like, what is this? Like, I thought, like, I whenever I look at the UN lawyers and everything and all their meetings, everybody is like has like folders and papers and they like everything by the letter and they like they're like this the definition of this and this article and that article. And all of a sudden, you have a day to combat Islamophobia and you don't even like know what the f I almost swore what the f that is. Like, I, I like, are you serious? How is that? possible like why like i was listening to canadian politicians and i thought like because islamophobia was being pushed into legal or canadian um law i mean not completely but it was like pushing close to that um and a lot of canadian politicians i was so impressed that they were like oh yeah we should call this anti-muslim bigotry because um calling it islamophobia and having that written in any kind of government um uh, paper or would mean like that the government is taking a position in defending a religion like they understood that like it, it seemed like it, they were understanding that like yeah, yeah let's call this like anti-muslim bigotry not islamophobia because if you call it islamophobia all of a sudden this term is going to be used guys you know how easy it's going to be to for 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 people to consider criticizing islam as a you know as condemnable by the united nations now like the same organization that gives us the you, you know the human rights charter now like oh you accept the human rights charter well the same institution is now combating islamophobia what is islamophobia like the, you like it's easy to like now mix attacks on muslims as individual mix that with the criticism of islam i mean the name says islamophobia it doesn't say muslimophobia it says islamophobia do you know how powerful of a tool that's going to be for people who want to protect islam not muslims when they have the united nations on record on their side the, or the institution that is supposed to be protecting human rights is now defending vaguely an ideology this is so disgusting and dangerous. I don't know if I could, I, I, if I'm, I'm making it clear how devastating this is. This is such a step backwards. I thought this is like being like, oh, Islamophobia, Islamophobic. I thought that is so 2006. Like I thought we have way, moved way past that. We have so many leftists and liberals now also saying like, yeah, Islam sucks. Yes, protect minorities. Yes, protect Muslims. But you know, F Islam the same way F Christianity. I like I we like a lot of people left even leftists and liberals have matured to that point, but now we're we're going backwards, like a heavy, huge step backwards. This is so
God, like this is Pakistan. Like, like the Pakistan's poison is now spreading to the entire world. They're like Jesus Christ. Well, we can't take these things for granted. You know, it's a reminder of how hard we need to continue to push. Saying, oh, honestly, you know, we've already talked about the problems with the or why Islamophobia as a word is problematic for 10 years. We don't need to talk about that so much anymore. But that's not true. You can't take it for granted. You need to keep pushing no matter what. One thing that I thought was very interesting is um, the re reaction from Imran Khan. So my... Uh, my disdain for him I, I i i'm a little bit i'm so biased like pretty much anything he says like i'm just gonna be like opposed but here's some quotes in a tweet on tuesday evening khan congratulated muslims around the world as quote as our voice against the rising tide of islamophobia has been heard today the united nations has finally recognized the grave challenge of confronting confronting the world of Islamophobia, respect for religious symbols and practices, and for and of curtailing systemic hate and discrimination against Muslims. The next challenge is to ensure the implementation of this landmark resolution. Um, yeah, I want to congratulate the Muslim Ummah today, as our voice has been heard against the rising tide against Islamophobia. Um, so I have a huge problem with this, because Imran Khan's idea of Islamophobia and combating Islamophobia explicitly is implementing blasphemy laws around the world and trying to bring blasphemy laws to the international stage, trying to bring them to the floor of the United Nations. They've done this repeatedly over the years. So when, you know, Armin and I will both agree point blank that there is statistically and empirically a rise in bigotry and systemic oppression of Muslims in many different countries around the world. This is a fact, and this is a problem that needs to be challenged. And obviously on this channel, we talk about it constantly. Now, that's very different from what a country or a prime minister like that of Imran Khan in Pakistan, their conception of what Islamophobia is. Like I said, it's about blasphemy and it's, it's about you have to respect our beliefs you have to respect our God. We demand it. And if you don't, you're bigoted. It drives me crazy. So I, Armin and I will 100% of the time every day be for raising awareness about, you know, the bigotry that is faced by Muslims around the world. But we can't condone this and we can't endorse this. And part of the resolution is that different arms of the UN and then member states and et cetera, it's it, part of the mandate to have high visibility events that talk about the issue of Islamophobia on March 15th. So I am cringing at the idea of what this content for combating Islamophobia is going to be like, because oftentimes a lot of this content is about making excuses for Islam or actively promoting Islamic practice which one, shouldn't be the concern of the United Nations, and two, is harmful in many ways. Should we have um, March 15 also, we could announce March 15 to also be the international day to criticize Islam? We could a parallel, do that. A parallel day to that? Yeah. I like that idea. We could do that next year. Yeah. Ooh, so let's think about that. that. Okay, so here's the thing. Let me rant for a second, okay? Just let me rant for a second because you brought a, up a good point, okay? Because there are some people who might be like, no, Armin, no, Armin, you're being picky. You know, you're just like being pedantic. Oh, Islamophobia is a bad religion. You know, we know Islamophobia. Like, you could just be like picky. This is Islam. You're saying this is Islam, not Muslims. We should protect Muslims and Islam. But come on, Armin. We know when we say Islamophobia, we're talking about anti-Muslim bigotry. You could be like pedantic, but you're being picky. Okay, here's my response because Susanna just brought this to my attention. You know, you know, this is about protecting Islam, not Muslims, because of the person suggesting it. So you know when Susanna said that, oh yeah, we know like there's a lot of attacks on Muslims. You know what? Do you know which country? One of the countries that has the most 
highest amount of attacks on Muslims is Pakistan. Pakistan. It's Pakistan. It's the Shia Muslims in Pakistan. It's the Ahmadi Muslims in Pakistan who are being attacked, who are endorsed by their government. These people don't give a crap about Muslims. In fact, they're actively harassing and oppressing and victimizing Muslims. They, they, they have the worst treatment of the people who are the founders of the day to combat Islamophobia. They treat Muslims the worst because they're not the right kind of Muslims. They're only interested in defending Islam, not Muslims. So don't tell me I'm being pedantic. Look at what they're doing. Pakistan makes it mandatory for you to announce that Ahmadis are coffers, are infidels, before you could get your passport. You have to sign that you testify that Ahmadis are not Muslims. This is official, like the government makes you this, the same government that has a day to combat Islamophobia. Anyways. It's, it's so, it's, it's just rich. It's just, it's, it's, yeah. It, it's so, I don't know, patently hypocritical and ironic just on its face. Um, Secular Rarity is saying, I feel like if Prime Minister Imran Khan comes out on your side, you should at least think a little bit more about your choices. <laughs> Not saying it's outright wrong, but just think about it again. <laughs> um, I wanted to highlight this comment by Silva. Yes, can you read that? Oh, Silva is saying, member, now member, can dupe member, guys. Member, will now that we have membership, Super Chats and member comments take priority, so let's Okay. We're going to be biased. Selva Kumar is saying, now Hindutva guys will be asking about Hindu Hindu phobia, a.k.a. upper caste phobia. This is this um, is actually going to be a problem that happened. it is going to propagate this idea of it's going to give more life to Hindu phobia as a concept. Yes. 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 Also, if you don't let us blaspheme, then you're being atheistophobic. How about that? We should do that. A hey, coffer phobia um no okay this okay this is the last point i found this was very interesting this is part of the text from the resolution it expresses deep concern at quote the overall rise in instances of discrimination intolerance and violence regardless of the actors directed against members of many religions in other communities in various parts of the world including cases motivated by islamophobia anti-semitism christianophobia and prejudice against people, persons of other religions or beliefs. So, like, randomly, they try to put in like anti Semitism and Christianophobia. I've never heard of Christianophobia before. But I'm like, so what is it? Like, what are we doing here? Is Are we now just like putting everything in this, or is it just about Muslims? But then I, what I found interesting. Atheists, put us there as well. If you're putting everyone there, you should put us there as well. But what I found what interesting is, is Islamophobia, anti-Semitic, and Christianophobia, that is explicitly only Abrahamic faiths. Yeah. Yeah. So UN is it's, defending. It's, 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 everything it. about this, this is so biased. Yeah, 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 yeah. So where's that where's the Hindu in the live chat? Like I would agree with them right now if they're if they are get outraged. I would agree with Hindu today if they get outraged right now over this Abrahamic bias that seems to be happening by the way we just got a 20 dollars super sticker by by a, a, our very christian fan so guys we're being funded by christians now this is fantastic 20 dollars thank you bread of life, <laughs> thank <laughs> you, bread of life. wait i want to go to the youtube live chat to see what the super sticker is because it doesn't show up on if you, if you give us more super stickers we might, we might consider jesus i don't know where you could tempt <laughs> it is a super sticker of a pair looking in a mirror and loving itself and saying thanks for being you no thank How you cute. thank you <laughs> thank you bread of life well, very generous wait, uh, Okay, bread of life, us being us includes us being atheists. Uh, bread of life is so saying you guys are doing good work. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, I appreciate that. Okay. Um, so Armin, I think you had a very good idea for March 15th to be 
for us the international day to criticize Islam. Because like I said, we can't take it for granted that people now understand why Islamophobia is a problematic term. But now mm -hmm. this gives us an annual excuse to tell people about this. Yes. And we can talk to the international about uh, international coalition of Muslims about this. Yeah. You know how um, the International Day for Al Hijab was then also met with the International Day of from Freedom from Hijab as a counter. So we could mm -hmm. do the same thing with this day. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I want to write that down, but I don't have a pen. <laughs> <laughs> okay let's we do should bring this meeting. we should bring this idea up in germany in the in the in our strategic meeting yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. what do you think mm. yeah that's why i need to write it down i'm like <laughs> give me a few months we'll get the planning started oh wait yes. gation american gave a two dollar super chat saying <laughs> xi jinping phobia <laughs> <laughs> okay ccp phobia okay but i like how it's t-h-o-t oh Thought phobia. Okay. <laughs> hey, what the hell? Gossip is saying great suggestion, Susie. This is my su what the hell? Look at the level of simping here by Gossip. It was my suggestion, and Susanna said it was a great idea. Gossip is like saying, like, guys, we have it on record that this was my idea, right? I'm not That's so funny. It's like the opposite of what women suggest an idea, and then like at work, and then a guy suggests it and suddenly it's positively received. Yeah, what the <laughs> this is misandry. <laughs> This is sexism. Open and unapologetic. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Did you not, guys? Did you not, not, not notice? I was, okay. Oh my God. Now everybody's jumping on that band. Like, music guys say, yes, this is a great idea. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, You're welcome, yes. guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. See, Gaijin American um, is on my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.